Hello. I want to make one last video. This series started four years ago with an analysis of existentialism. And then we went into super learning, matrix learning, hyper learning, to give you the tools to get out of the existential trap. And then we went further into integrity, into the call of the friend, and many, many more series culminating in Nibbana. And if you go through from the beginning, as we have always recommended, you go through all these series, understand and put them into action and your life will be transformed. Now, <laughs> I know a lot of the people watching this video are watching to find fault. <laughs> Maybe even most of the people, but at least you're connected, even through your hate, even through your ignorance even through your misunderstanding, somehow you're connected with enlightenment. So this will be the final video in this series. I may make more videos. I may not. I don't know. I am not the same person who started this series. In fact, I'm not a person at all. If only you could understand. If only you would follow some of the methods that I've given. I'm not giving a philosophy. I'm not giving a dogma. It's certainly not a religious teaching. Because I say kick out all morality, kick out all concepts. Simply cultivate awareness. And if you do, you will find something, something very wonderful. That you are what you're looking for. But you're looking in the wrong place. From my point of view, knowledge is ignorance. What you call knowledge is actually foolishness, stupidity. <laughs> because all you're doing is throwing around words, symbols, logical constructions, arguments, syllogisms. And that will never lead you to truth. In fact, it will lead you away from the truth because you think you know the truth, but you don't know. The intellect is the Ajna Chakra. What does Ajna mean? I don't know. <laughs> not knowing. Because we're not knowing, we try to fill the void with words but words cannot express the reality. So you go on throwing, throwing words, words, but it doesn't fill. It does not fill that emptiness inside because that emptiness is your nature. Your true nature is Openness, emptiness, nothingness. Neither 
perception nor non-perception. And you can experience this through meditation. But what most people call meditation isn't really meditation. It's concentration. For example, Buddha gave eight jhanas. Jhana is the same word as dhyana. Dhyana means meditation. So even though it's called jhana, it's actually concentration. In yoga, you start out with yama and niyama, what is to be done, what is not to be done. Then there's asana, pranayama. Pratyahara means withdrawal of the senses from their objects. Then dharana, concentration. Then only dhyana, or meditation. So these eight jhanas given by the Buddha aren't really meditation. And in fact, in the Eightfold Path, he calls it right concentration. So a form of concentration narrows the mind. Any concentration means I am putting a filter. I am shutting out certain things and concentrating on others within. But that concentration is not meditation. Meditation is what happens when your concentration becomes mature. When the seed of the teaching flowers and blossoms and goes to seed itself. That takes work. Many, many years of work. No one can do it for you. You have to do it yourself. So, this series has been about the journey from religion to enlightenment, from philosophy to knowing, from theory to experience, from thinking to seeing, from sight to insight. And if you go through this whole series, I promise you, you will get a lot. But of course, most people won't. That's your choice. Most people can't understand the value. But that's your privilege. But now, the time for concentration the time for sadhana, the time for contemplation is almost over. The world is about to go again into psychosis, into war. The whole planet will be shaken in more ways than one. We predicted this many years ago. Anyone who knows us knows we have always, always looked forward to this time. This is a wonderful time, a wonderful, mad, crazy time. If you have your consciousness together. If you don't, well, I'm sorry. You didn't take the opportunity. You didn't do the meditations while you had time. You didn't train your mind. You let your mind train you. You let your mind run away with you into ignorance. And because of that, you missed. You missed this opportunity. Now this is the end. 
I'm retiring from teaching. And now will be the time for doing, for enjoying, for experiencing life to its fullest. If you're ready. If you're not ready, I'm sorry, I gave everything. And before me, Osho gave everything. And before him, many others. But you didn't listen. So now it's very late. Now, whatever you have got, whatever you have understood and realized, it's time to put it into practice. There's not much time left. So, I hope you have enjoyed these videos. They're not perfect. I'm not perfect. <laughs> the whole idea of perfection is ridiculous. What is, is perfect. What already is, is what we are. And we go on thinking, oh, I have to change, I have to grow, I have to get this, I have to do that, I have to go here. There's so many thoughts taking us away, outside, the opposite direction on the path. There is only one path, but you can go down or up that path. It's up to you. I'm saying you should go up, higher and higher. Become lighter and lighter. Shed more and more of this stuff called mind. Leave it behind. Let it go. One step to enlightenment. That is the Zen way. That is my way. You want a procedure? You want a step-by-step -step path? Okay, that's there too. You want to do all the work? You have to do all the work. But if you want to see, you can see right now. So, I've said enough. I've said more than enough. Enjoy these videos. I'm going to leave them here. And I'm going to <laughs> go to a beautiful place I know, far away. And I may post another series of videos, or I may not. I don't know. So this is a good time to say goodbye. Those of you who can hear, they know. Those of you who can't hear, you will never know. Those of you who can see, they know. Those who cannot see, they will never know. It's up to you. It's up to you to take the scales from your eyes. It's up to you to take the wax from your ears. <laughs> It's up to you to open your heart. And if you open it, really you will see that which you were looking for out there someplace was always right here. It was always right at home. Simply you were looking the wrong way. <laughs>